the room with the most spectacular view of the Niagara Falls. Are you guys ready for it? In this video, I'll cover list of hotels with the best views, parking hacks, how to get cheap to free parking, how to book best rooms, places to dine, things and activities to do at Niagara Falls, when is the best time to visit Niagara Falls, different views of the falls, illuminated Niagara Falls at night, summer views, winter views, sunrise, sunset, and a lot more. So guys, stay with me. From London, Ontario to Niagara Falls, our favorite getaway spot and we don't seem to get bored of the majestic Niagara Falls view. You will find many hotels near to the falls, however, our goal is to find the best hotel with the best room that offers the amazing view of the Niagara Falls. Do not compromise on the view. Top 5 Hotels with Great Views of the Falls Embassy Suites They have got the stunning view of the falls Second one is the Oaks Hotel overlooking the Niagara Falls Third one is the Marriott Number 4 Tower Hotel Number 5 is Falls View Casino Resort Right now, I'm heading towards Embassy Suites, so that's where I'll be staying tonight and I'll share a detailed review of the room and the view from the Embassy Suites. So on the left side, the white building, that's the Oaks Hotel and on the right side, that's the Tower Hotel and just adjacent to the Tower Hotel, that's the Marriott. So all these hotels are lined up close by. Over the years, I have stayed at Embassy Suites, The Oaks, and Marriott. So in this video, I'll share the views from these hotels with you guys. We have reached our destination, so our next task is to park our car. So I'm going to share with you guys some parking hacks, how to get cheap parking to absolutely free parking. Parking don'ts. All the hotels offer valet parking. Do not go with it. It's pretty expensive. It's around $60 to $70 per day. And with the hotel valet parking, they will be parking your car at a far away off-site location. It won't be anywhere close to the hotel. I'm going to share with you guys the cheaper option, park at the casino resort parking lot. It's only a few minutes a walk away from all the hotels. So we are driving towards the parking lot. We are going with the self-parking. So it's underground parking lot. Uh, so over here, it's $30 for weekends and $10 weekdays. And you only have to pay when you exit. Doesn't matter how many days you have parked your car at this lot. The the rate is based on the day you exit. So if you exit on a weekday, you have to pay $10. And when you exit on weekends, you have to pay $30. Now, how to get free parking? You can park at the casino resort parking lot. So if you spend 20 bucks at the casino, maybe you can use the slot machine, you will get free parking. You can validate the free parking when you exit at the parking lot and you will have some fun as well at the casino. From the parking lot, we took the elevator. So now we are walking through a hallway. So we are going to get out of the casino building. This is a happening building. So from the parking lot, we are going to the main floor. Here's where you will find the casino. There are many restaurants and shops and cafeterias. You can walk around and shop around. Such a beautiful building. And there's also a food court on the lower floor. And the casino resort rooms are on the upper floors. We are outside the building, so we are going to walk to the Embassy Suite. It's only a few minutes walk away to all the hotels, uh, Embassy Suites, the Oaks, Marriott, uh, uh, and also the Tower Hotel. So here is the Embassy Suites. We are getting into the Embassy Suite lobby, so you will find some stores on the right-hand side. So the elevators to the rooms are on the left-hand side. So here is the check-in area and the front desk. Embassy 
embassy suites got 42 floors and our suite is on the 29th floor so we are in the elevator right now it's just us in the elevator so due to covid we are not going to ride the elevator with other people uh, so we still have to wear the mask and follow social distancing so here's our suite 2914 let me give you guys a quick tour of this suite so we booked queen bed suite with two queen beds so here is the sitting area there's a wet bar with a microwave fridge there's a sink coffee maker and a tv and here is the bathroom view there's a sliding door it's a nice spacious bathroom and uh, here is the walk-in shower nice mirror and uh, when i see mirror i always have to do this yes here are the two queen beds it's just two people my hubs and i yet we booked a queen bed suite instead of king bed suite i can explain that so we have stayed at uh, embassy suite in different rooms before and what we have found out is Queen bed suite has much wider window like this. Here is the stunning view from our suite. Let me share with you guys how to book rooms with great views. A few don'ts do not book through Expedia or booking.com they don't have any rooms with the best view if you're going to stay at Niagara for the view Airbnb is not an option they don't have any properties that will offer the false view the best option is to book the rooms directly through the hotel website so the rooms with the stunning views are all reserved for the hotel they will not give out all those rooms to Expedia or bookings.com on the screen, I'm sharing Embassy Suites website. So when you go to their website, you will land on this page. So they offer three kinds of suites, queen bed, king bed, and premium suites. So when you do the booking, it's very important to pick the right view. So if you want to get the best and stunning view, you should go with the Canadian and US false view suite. Even if it's um, queen bed or king bed or premium, always go with Canadian and US false view and picking the floors anywhere from 10th floor till 30th floor you will have a great view next I'm going to give you a comparison of the views from different rooms so here is the view from Queen bed suite at embassy suites so this is just Canadian false view so that's why we are able to only see the horseshoe falls view and I find that a queen suite at embassy the windows are much wider and one of the beds will be close to the window so we'll be able to enjoy the view even while lying on the bed next view embassy suites one king bed suite with both Canadian and US falls view so here's the room and here is the window so I find that at embassy king suite the window is not that wide and also with one king the bed will be much far away from the window if you pick canadian and u.s falls view you will get uh, the view of the entire falls marriott one king bedroom with both canadian and u.s falls view so this is not a suite it's just a room so here is a video from 2018 my hubs is going towards the window for the morning view as you can see one king bed uh, the bed is uh, much uh, far away from the window and also the window is not that wide but you will get the view of both canadian and u.s falls Next, the Oaks Hotel one king bedroom with Canadian and US Falls view, sharing a few pictures with you guys. Stunning view of both US and Canadian Falls. The windows are much wider and we really enjoyed the view from this room at the Oaks Hotel.
Based on my experience, I would highly recommend these two hotels, Embassy Suites, Queen Bed Suites with both Canadian and US Falls View. At Embassy, it's all suites, different kinds, and it comes with a wet bar that includes microwave and a mini fridge. So if you're staying for long, you can do some cooking. You can take your instant pot with you. And the Oaks Hotel, King Suite with both Canadian and US Falls View. Next, let me share a few things about dining at Niagara Falls. From my dining experience, if you want to take out from some of the restaurants like TGIF, Applebee's, and if you look at their online website, prices are not displayed on the menu, reason being prices keep fluctuating. If you're budget conscious, you can call the restaurant and check the price before you dine in or take out. And also for takeout, there will be an additional 21% takeout fee on top of 13% tax. Let me share a few dine-in options. When you're at Niagara, you will find unlimited options. So many restaurants lined up. If you're looking for a restaurant with the false view, if you're celebrating something, or if it's a special occasion, I would highly recommend the Keg Steakhouse. Now, if you're staying at the Embassy Suites, it's on the ninth floor. So you don't even have to go out of the Embassy Suites building. One of our stays, we dined at the Keg Steakhouse. So here is the false view from the restaurant. So please make a reservation if you want to get a seating with the false view. And this is one of our favorite restaurants. Here is the bread and butter. So this was complimentary. For appetizer, we ordered calamari. So this is our regular order whenever we dine at the keg. So these are fried crispy calamari. It also comes with fried jalapenos and red pepper. So the heat from the jalapenos will give a nice kick uh, when we have the calamari. So it comes with uh, ginger garlic sauce and also Greek feta cheese sauce. Here's our main course at cake. We always end up ordering peppercorn New York steak, our absolute favorite. So this is crusted steak and I got french fries as the sides and my hubs got the same with mashed potatoes. I love the heat from the peppercorns. Um, so if you haven't tried this at cake, please try this. You're gonna love it. And this is sirloin steak. And we couldn't resist Billy Minor Pie. It's insanely delicious. Another restaurant I would highly recommend is Brasa Brazilian Steakhouse. If you are a meat lover, you will definitely love this place. So Brasa showcases the flavors and cultural flair of Brazil. Everything is cooked on an open fire, old tradition way, and you can experience endless cuts of meats. Everything will be carved table side in the style of authentic Brazilian gauchos. Another restaurant we have dined in for a special occasion with the panoramic view of both American and Horseshoe Falls is the Watermark Rooftop Restaurant. If you're not in the mood for fancy dining, there is a food court in Falls View Casino Resort lower level. There are many fast food places, eateries and cafeterias. You will find several options. When you're in Niagara, there are many things and activities you can do. If you're visiting Niagara Falls for the first time, you will be awestruck by this majestic falls. Just stroll around and enjoy the beauty of this natural wonder of the world.
I would highly recommend the Falls Boat Tour. It's a 20 minute tour. So on the Canadian side, it's called the Horn Blower and will have the red raincoat. And on the US side, it's the Made of the Mist and everybody will be wearing blue raincoat. So this is the only way we can go near to the falls to feel the thundering roar, awesome power and the amazing mist. It's an out of the world experience. So guys, don't miss this. Sharing a video from the Made of the Mist uh, that was taken in 2006. This is Niagara You can take the journey behind the falls, yet another breathtaking experience to feel the falls. Then you can do zip lining. However, zip lining is not over the falls. I wish they had uh, zip lining over the falls. That would have been terrific. Another activity you can do is ride the Niagara Sky Wheel. So this is located in the heart of Clifton Hill and you will have a breathtaking panoramic view of the spectacular Niagara Falls. Here is the sunset view from the Sky Wheel. In summer, we took our e-scooter with us and we roamed around on our e-scooter. It was a totally different experience and we were able to explore the entire Niagara Park. So if you have an e-scooter or a bike, uh, you can take it uh, with you and explore. So you have to bring your own e-scooter or bike. The main strip, Clifton Hill, it's world famous street of fun by the falls. Clifton Hill is Niagara Falls top destination for attractions, restaurants, entertainment and more. So if you have kids, this is a must visit. There are a couple of indoor water parks and uh, you can also take a helicopter tour of the falls. You must be wondering, when is the best time to visit Niagara Falls? If you're visiting Niagara Falls for the first time and if you're not from Canada or the US, I would say summer is the ideal time, June till September. That's when you will be able to explore Niagara Falls to the fullest and do all kind of outdoor activities. That doesn't mean you cannot visit Niagara Falls in other seasons. Literally, you can visit Niagara Falls all year round. So if you're in the US or Canada or close by, please visit Niagara Falls in winter. It's a totally different experience. You will feel you are in a fantasy world. Here is the video that was captured in winter. So do the falls actually freeze? Technically, no. Due to sub-zero temperatures, the mist will begin to form a crust of ice on top of the falls, making it appear as though the falls have been frozen. However, the water will continue to flow underneath the sheets of ice. Next, let me share the different views of the falls. From the Canadian side, this is the kind of view you will get. You will get the panoramic view of the Horseshoe Falls and also the American Falls and the smaller falls is the Bridal Whale Falls. So the best view you will get from the Canadian side. From the US side, this is the kind of view you will get. You will not get the full view of the Horseshoe Falls. It's only a partial view. And here is the American Falls and the Bridal Whale Falls. So this picture was taken in 2006 when I visited Niagara Falls from the US side. Here's another view of the falls from the US side. So that's the rainbow bridge that connects the US and Canada. Every night, Niagara Falls will be illuminated. So this is the view from the Queen Suite at Embassy. So guys, enjoy the marvelous display of lights on the falls.
good morning world it's 6 a.m in the morning i had a good night's sleep at midnight i did wake up and gazed at the falls and then went back to sleep it was just amazing so i'm waiting to watch this splendid sunrise let's watch it together Today's sunrise is at 7.59 a.m. I woke up so early, so I'm gonna make coffee and watch sunrise sipping coffee. coffee for my hubs so we are ready to enjoy the sunrise together look at that so it's almost 7 50 a.m Here is the morning view of the Niagara Falls. Um, it's around 8.30 a.m. right now. That's it guys. It's a wrap, so it's checkout time. Checkout time is at 11 a.m. So before I leave, um, I'm going to peek at the falls one more time. Um, so Niagara Falls, you are just fabulous. Um, and I don't seem to get uh, bored of uh, this uh, majestic view. So until next time, if you found this video to be helpful, do let me know your feedback. So if you have any further questions about visiting Niagara Falls or staying at a hotel with the view, please don't hesitate to ask me. So if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And uh, those of you who are watching, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, please do subscribe i would greatly appreciate that everyone enjoy at niagara falls have lots of fun stay safe take care and bye